Hey guys, I'm Tettyworks and in this Procreate tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create digital mosaic art from a photo step by step. Please download free resources in the video description and if you are ready, let's grab our pencils and get started. I've created a canvas of 2000 by 2500 pixels with DPI set to 300. In this tutorial, I'm going to use a mosaic pattern brush from a big set of 24 mosaic and tile brushes. You can get it along with tens of other premium brush sets and watch a bunch of in-depth tutorials on my Patreon page. It is linked in the video description. In addition to that, in the tutorial files you will find a free color palette and a couple of stamps from my landscape set. This set and many others are available for free on my Gumroad. For this mosaic drawing, I picked a very beautiful image from Unsplash.com. It is also in the files. And right now let's import it into the canvas and start drawing. So I'm going to Actions, Add and insert a file. Now let's scale it. I will drag it upper. And I will keep it like this. After that I will create a layer above this one and also lower the opacity of the image. Let's now select black color from the color disk and in ink inset I will pick technical pen. Let's outline all the objects that we want to keep in our design. Of course it will be the dancer. So I set the size to 15% and I will start outlining it, keeping it very simple. So I will outline the hair, of course, without any details. And then continue on the dress. We don't have to be very accurate here, we will just use it as a guide. So I will be doing it quickly. Let's go upper here. Also make these lines very simple, without any wrinkles or small curves. And I will finish it on the sleeve. Let's now outline her arms. I will do it roughly. Just show the fingers and then finish it. Let's now outline the second one. Let's do it here. And connect. Okay. Now we also need to outline the legs. There is a very cute kitty, but I think we won't draw it. We will just focus on the dancer. Let's work on the feet. Make the shoes. Then this leg. Also here, inside it, and I'm keeping all the shapes simple. 
Let's now determine bigger objects too. We can show the horizon line just as a straight line. It'll go like this. Then we can also see these parts of the fence. So let's show it. Then it will go up like this. And this part I will just show schematically. Without inner details. Instead I'm just drawing straight lines like this. Let's determine the floor here. And also at the bottom. Here comes this part. And also we can determine the C. With another straight line. Alright. I think it is ready. We have all the shapes. So we can toggle the lay with the image. And use our outlines. Right now I will create a lay below. And we can lower the opacity of the outlines. Just a little bit. We can start applying the pattern. I'd like to start with the hair. So I will go to the color palette. And select this color called Hair 1. It's dark grey. I'm going to use selection here. In freehand mode. Just outline the hair shape. Using the outlines it is very easy. I'm just following the curves. Going up here. And we just need to connect it. So I'm tapping. And to fill the area we can simply click color fill. Now that we have the base, we can apply the pattern. I will do it on another layer that I will create above this one and then clip. For the tiles, I'm going to use hair color too. It's almost black. Now let's go to the bundle and select the brush with smaller grain. The size doesn't matter here. We just need to paint. And after that we need to create the outlines. I will show you a very easy way to do that. So let's remove the sketch now. To see the borders, I will go to this layer with the base and duplicate it. Let's go to this one and apply Gaussian Blur on it but at a very low amount, can be 2 or 3%. After we did that, we need to go to selection and switch to automatic, but remove color fill option. Let's now tap on the background and make sure that the selection threshold is low, but that we need to slide to the left. Once we have the selection, we need to invert it and tap on the brush. Let's tap and hold to go to the previous color and in the brushes I will go to airbrush and select soft brush. All we need is to paint on the borders. And here it is. We will be doing it for all the parts of the dancer. But right now we need to finish the hair and add a highlight on it. To do that, I will go to the layer with the pattern. It's this one. Also we need to alpha lock it. I will grab the third color for hair. And go to selection. Let's switch to freehand again. And outline the left part of the hair. Following the tiles. I will start from here 
and do it this way. On the grey border. Let's go to this side and then match it with the edge. Here we can outline it this way to close the selection. I'm tapping now and we can click color fill. The selected area will be filled. If we remove the selection now, we will see the result. And I think it looks quite cool. Let's bring back the sketch and continue drawing. Actually all the lace for the hair can be merged now, since it is ready. After that I will create a layer below. And we can start working on the dress. First I will go to the color palette and grab the first color for the dress. I will outline it all using selection. In freehand mode. I'm simply following the sketch that we created. And it is very easy. Of course, if you like, you can use the brush. I just feel more comfortable using selection. And it is faster for me. Let me go down on the dress. Work on this fold. I will also outline it all. And work on this curve. Let's outline it around the leg. Here. Then around this one. And go up. I will finish it on the back here and transition into the sleeve. Now we just need to connect it. So I will tap here and since we have color fill on, it will be filled. Now let's add the pattern. First I'd like to apply a darker color. So let's create a new layer and then clip it. In the palette I will grab the second color for the dress and also our tile brush, again with small grain. Let's apply it on the dress. And now we can start adding the highlights. For that let's grab the next color, which is lighter. And before going to selection, let's not forget to alpha lock the layer to keep the color inside it. Now let's tap here and use it in freehand. Since we didn't mark the highlights on the dress, we can improvise or use reference. I will highlight this leaf. Let's connect it. Then also here. If you still have difficulties, you can bring back the photo and trace it. I will add this area under the hair. Then go to the right side from here. Also draw this wig. Let's make it curvy. Then I'd like to highlight the leg here. So I will start from the left side and go up. Let's also highlight it under the leg. So I'll start from here. And this small part of the fold. Also this frontal part of the dress is highlighted. 
Let me draw it this way. And it is ready. We only need to add the outlines. So let's go to this layer with the base color, duplicate it, then go to this one and blur it. Let's set the amount to 3% again. Now let's go to selection, remove color fill and switch to automatic. We need to tap on the background first and then invert the selection. Let's tap on the brush, go to recent and select soft brush. Also in the colors I will pick first color that we used for the base. Now we simply need to paint on the edges. And we will get the outlines again. When it is ready, let's deselect. Now we can merge all the layers for the dress and continue working on the arms and legs. For that I will create a layer below the dress. And in the color palette, select the first color for the body. Let me use selection here again. I will be using freehand and outline all four parts on one layer. We don't have to be accurate under the shoes. So I will just do it quickly. Like this. Let's click color fill to get the color. Then I will outline the second leg. On the left side. And also connect it. Going up on the arms. Tracing the sketch here. Fingers. And finishing on the opposite side. And of course, if you want, you can use the brush. So I will tap here now. And draw the second arm. We can start from any point. It doesn't really matter. And I really hope you are enjoying the process. I think it is very easy and fun. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, I would highly appreciate it if you subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. Alright, let me just tap here now. And it is ready. Let's start adding the pattern. I will remove the sketch to see the edges better. Then create a layer above this one and clip. Let's start with dark areas. So I'm selecting the third color, which is darker. Let's also grab our pattern and apply it. It looks very dark because the girl is in shadow, as we see it on the photo. But we can add the highlights. So let's select this orangey color on the left. Alpha lock the layer. And go to selection to add the highlights. I want to start with the arms. On the photo we can see that this part is highlighted. So let's show it as well. But this time I will be following the tiles on the borders. Then I will highlight this part.
Let's go to the other one. And add a highlight this way. It will go up here. And then I will connect it. I will also highlight this finger. Just a little bit. And then go to the legs. Here we can see that the left side is highlighted. Let's also do it. I will start from this point, where it matches with the dress, and start creating these outlines on the tiles. Let's go down here and finish it at the lower side. We need to connect it and then it will be filled. Here only this small part is light. Let's show it. Here it will end. But also there is a light spot on the left side at the bottom, somewhere here. Ok, this is also ready. We only need to add the outlines. So I'm going to this layer number 5, duplicating it again. And for the layer at the bottom, I will apply Gaussian Blur. somewhere between 2 and 3%. Now we need to use selection, without color fill and in automatic. Tap on the background, let's see, and after that invert. Let's select base color for the body, together with soft brush and paint on the borders. Now it is also ready. We can merge the layers. This time I will create a new layer above. So we can draw the shoes. As the base color for the shoes, I am going to use color called C. And first we need to outline them. Here I'm using selection as always. And if you like you can apply a brush. Can be monoline, technical pen, studio pen. Or whatever one is your favorite. Let me finish the outline on the left side and then I will connect it. Here we have two shapes and we can outline them one by one. I will start with this part. Connect it. And then outline this one at the bottom. Let me also finish it. And tap to connect. Now that we have the shapes, let's add the texture. I will create a new layer for that. And clip it. Let's change the color to shoes 1. And our tile brush. I will apply it and then add the highlights. Using color shoes 2. Let me remove the sketch again. 
let's alpha lock this layer and using selection continue outlining all the borders I will highlight this part on the shoes and also here and the lower side let's also connect it and this one is ready let's switch to the second here I will highlight it this way then also on the inner part and on the right side as well After we did that, all we need to do is add the outlines. So we are duplicating this layer, blurring the one below at 3 or 2 percent, and then go into selection. I'm removing color fill, switching to automatic, and tapping on the background. All the same as we did before. Now let's invert it. Select base color, which is called C. And soft brush. Paint on the borders. And now the shoes are totally ready. Before we start working on the background, let me add a small detail on the dress. I will just drop the color from here. Go to the layer with the dress and using technical pen, separate it from the part that is located behind, also here. Now it's perfect. The girl is totally ready. We can go ahead and merge all the layers for it. And after that start working on the background. Of course, we need to create a layer below. First, I will go to the color palette and grab the color Sky 1. I will drag it on the canvas. After that, I will apply the pattern. And we can use the sketch for the prompt. Let's create a new layer above this one. And change the color to Sky 3. This time I will be using the pattern with a bigger grain and apply it on this area for the sky. It may go slightly lower than the horizon. Now let's alpha lock this layer. Switch to a color that is slightly darker, sky 2, and go to selection. I will be using freehand mode together with color fill. Draw another horizontal line, but following the tiles. Let's make it curvy. Then we don't have to be accurate here behind the girl. And finish on the opposite side. After that, I will outline it above. Connect. And it will get darker. After we did that, we can also draw the clouds. But before that, let's go to the layer with a sketch and sketch the clouds. So I will grab black color again and also technical pen from inking. Just draw a few simple shapes. One can be located here. Then one more, another small one, and a couple of clouds on the left side. Let's make another one bigger. Now that we have it, let's create a layer above this one. 
for the base color in the clouds. I will be using clouds 1. Let's lower the sketch layer a bit more. Then go to selection. And I will try to outline similar shapes, but following the tiles. Actually, these cloud shapes will work as guides, but we can make them slightly different. Let me draw it this way. They only need to match with the edges. Between the tiles. Let's connect it by tapping and the area will be filled. I will do the same with all the clouds that we created. And you do it on your own. So I will speed up this part a little. Let me finish on this one. Then I will go to the next, which is smaller. Also make it curvy like this. And connect. I have a few more clouds left. So let me do it quickly. Connecting. And there is one more. You can make lines above or under the outlines. Doesn't really matter. I'm just going up and down. I think it is just very easy this way, since we have the shape. Let me finish it. And base shapes are ready. We can remove the sketch. And after that apply the pattern. So I'll create a layer above, clip it, and change the color to clouds too. Just apply the pattern. And it will be matching with the tiles, because this brush is in texturized mode. Also, we don't have to create outlines, because they are matching. Let's now work on the other shapes. Let's merge the lace for the clouds. And then create a lay below. Let's draw the city line. First I will apply color city 1. Let's go to selection. And create this curve on top. On the tiles. Using the selection. So it'll go up and down. I'm just following the direction of this line. Go into the girl now. Crossing it. And transitioning to the right side. Also making it very curvy. Because the edge is uneven on the reference photo as well. We have buildings of different height. Let's show it. Then let's go down. And a little lower than these lines. Let's connect it. And once it is filled, we can deselect. Create a new layer above it. Clip it. To apply the pattern. Here I will select color city 2. The brush is already selected, we just need to apply it. I think it looks great. Let's continue and working on the C. 
we can definitely merge these two layers and then create another one above. For the base color on the sea I'm going to use sky 1. Let's also create a curvy selection on top and straight at the bottom, following the direction of this line. I will try to make it less curvy this time. Just go to the side. It may go down a little. And then I will finish it this way. Also connecting. Creating a layer above, clipping it. To apply the tiles, let's use color C. Just apply it. Now we can work on the fence. This part is blue, but first we need to apply base color. So I'm merging these two layers and creating another one above. Let's select this blue color that we used on the shoes. Follow this line with the selection. I will also try to make it as straight as possible. But since the tiles are big, it'll still look curvy. Let's continue to the right side. And finish it here. Go a little lower. We need to connect it. And after that apply tiles. So I'm repeating all the steps. Creating a new layer, clipping it. And selecting fence 3 color. Simply painting. We have a few more parts for the fence. So let's go down. Let's select this color, fence 1. I'm merging these two layers and creating a new one above. Let's first create selection on top of the line. Go to the right side carefully. Sometimes it may be not very easy to decide if you need to go below or above the line. So I'm just looking at it. Ok, let's continue here on the invisible part. And finish it on the side. Let's also finish the outline. And add the pattern. So here comes the layer with the clipping mask. And I'm changing the color to a darker one, fence 2. Painting it here. Half of the fence is ready. We also need to create it on the right side. So this time, I will create a layer above, but first we need to merge these two layers. Let's pick a base color first. And it'll be dress 1. Let's create the outline here on the right side. And match it.
let's go down here this way and tap now I'm creating another layer for the pattern here let's select fence one if you now remove the sketch we will get this but we still need to finish it because we have a few more parts right now I'm creating another layer above let's merge these two and as the base color I will use this dark one plinth 2 let's try to outline it maybe not very easy So I'm just going to the right. And then down. Let's match it here somehow. And then tap. Actually here we can also try to alpha lock the layer if you don't want to create a new one. Let's switch to a lighter color and paint on it. Due to alpha lock the color will also stay inside. I will just fix this part a little bit. So it will all match perfectly. Removing this color. Okay, let's check it once again now. And we only need to draw the floor. For the floor I will create a layer above the plinth. And use the sketch. Let's also first apply this dark color. And outline it. Try to follow the line as much as it is possible. Go into the right side. Here. And then I will finish it. Let's match it with the style. And then also do it this way. That's why I covered the bigger area. Let's now outline it here. And finish. I will alpha lock the layer for the tiles and select color floor 2 painting on it also I would like to make this part where the girl is standing a little bit darker we can do it easily if we go to selection first remove color fill And tap on the lines to select it. Now let's go to adjustments and pick hue saturation brightness. Let's just make it a little bit darker by lowering the brightness. I've set it to 47%. Now we can deselect it and finish the remaining part. So I'm creating one last layer here and using the color that we used on the hair. Number one. Let's first outline it on top here. Match it with this line.
Actually, if you are not very accurate, it's totally fine. From distance it'll still look great. Let's go further. I will move up a little bit. Then down again. And finish the outlines till the end. Let's click color fill here. I will pick dark color right from the hair. Alpha lock the layer. And add the pattern. Now we don't need the sketch anymore. I will remove it. And add a few more details. I just want to add some green color to make the drawing even more beautiful. So I will create a layer on top of all layers. Select this green color. And pick a stamp. Let's start with this one. Called Branch 2. I set the size to 33% and I will tap on the canvas. Now we can move it and place it somewhere here on top. We can also rotate it if needed. I will place it this way and after that apply pattern on it. I will do it on another layer because we will need to add the outlines. So let me create it. Clip it and select dark green. I will also select a pattern with smaller grain, same as we used on the woman. Let's apply it. And get the outlines. If you remember we need to duplicate this layer with a light color. Then blur one of them. Can be 2 or 3%. And then use selection. No color fill, but automatic mode. Let's tap on the background. And remove all the parts inside. Bigger ones. After that we need to invert it and paint using light green color again together with soft brush. This one is ready. Let's draw another one at the bottom, actually two of them. I'm merging these three layers and creating another one. Let's use the same light green color and another stamp. It will be this one with a leaf. Let's also set the size to run 30% and tap. I will move this one. And maybe scale a little bit. We can now create one more layer. And tap again with the lower size. Also drag it a little bit down. Now we can definitely merge these two layers. And create another layer for the pattern. Let's not forget to clip it. And apply it using dark green color. This brush. Finally we need to add the outline. So let's duplicate this layer. Apply Gaussian Blur on it.
and repeat all the same actions. Select the background first, remove all the parts, after that invert it, and paint with light color. With a soft brush. After this final step, our mosaic drawing is complete. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check me if you post a version on Instagram. For more tutorials and brush sets, please check out my Patreon page. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.